Hello, my name is Joseph Hall, producing director here at the Kelly Strayhorn Theater, uh, and I have with me Makwai Wabe, who is in residence working on Wade in the Water. Uh, hello, Wabe. Hello, how are you? I'm hey. well. Excellent. How are you doing? Very well. Really good. Really glad to be here at Kelly Strayhorn. Uh, you've been here for a while, and, mm -hmm. I, and I wonder if you can tell us a little bit about what you've been working on. I've been basically working on different moving parts of this hybrid oratorio that I'm in collaboration with at the moment with Daniel Bernard Romain. Mm. Uh, it's called Wade in the Water because it's inspired by um, where I come from in Barotsula in the Kingdom of Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. We have an annual flood ritual. We have several actually, migrations um, when the flood comes. So this is based on our annual flood ritual called Koomboka, mm -hmm. which literally translated means to wade into the water, to get out of the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's basically a migration movement, a natural occurrence that happens out of ecological necessity for our people, that we all move to high ground um, when the floods come and then we all move back six months later when the floods recede. What are your motivations for doing, uh, for creating a piece that seems biographical, mm -hmm. um, but is also, you know, you're talking about Twitter feeds, mm -hmm. live feeds, mm -hmm. it's very contemporary. Mm -hmm. What is the motivation behind it? Well, it's contemporary in, the, in that I've, I thought about it for a long time, okay. a long time, <laughs> and I sort of decided that I was going to use autoethnography, mm -hmm. which is a term that's pretty much used in ethnography in like a uh, evaluation as, an, as a method of getting into a, a personality, mm -hmm. uh, understanding somebody. Um, so autoethnographic is like, it's, it's, it's biographical, it's collapsed, mm -hmm. you know, where I am losing myself as a subject. What, it, what should the audience expect or what should they expect to take away from it after participating in it? Well, what they should definitely uh, expect, one is to, uh, one, that we must all have higher consciousness. I mean, that's the biggest part of the piece for me, is that the moving to higher ground is a metaphor for lots of people. It's based out of ecological necessity, but it's really higher consciousness that, you know, every six months you get a chance to think of higher things. Mm -hmm. um, so I really want the audience to come in feeling that uh, it's okay, and it's in fact it's necessary for them to participate in their own lives in a conscious way. So I'm sort of building on the Arab Spring, I'm building on the Occupy movement, I'm building on all of these things where I allow the audience to come in teach them certain things as tools mm -hmm. to be able, when they come to that moment in their life where they're going to make a decision about whether they're going to take a stand about something, that I would have given them a couple of tools in their little toolbox to say, hey, why don't you throw out that toy toy, you know, which is this resistance dance from South Africa.